Hello, I'm Nigel Pease and I'm here at Barnsley College looking at some music production techniques using Pro Tools software. In this particular video we're going to have a look at two different ways to bounce a mix. Bounce to disc and then bouncing to tracks. So if we start with bounce to disc, the first thing we need to do is make a selection because that's going to determine the area of the song that we bounce. Uh, it needs to be a timeline selection and I've stored a selection in the memory locations window there so if I just click on that, that makes the selection for us and it's nine seconds long. Go to the file menu now, bounce to disc. Got a few choices now. The bounce source determines what's included in the bounce and in this case anything routed to outputs one and two would be included in this bounce. Next the file type, various choices. We've chosen WAV there, format, stereo interleaved, bit depth 16 bit and sample rate 44 one. So we're bouncing as if we're going to output to a CD. So we'll click bounce and the next thing we have to decide is what we're going to call this bounce and where's it going to be saved. So I'm saving it into the audio files folder of this session and I'm going to call it bounce. So when I click save now I won't be able to make any adjustments to the mix. Uh, we'll just listen to the nine seconds of uh, music as it bounces down. So there we are, that's bounce to disc. If we just check that that bounce has been successful, we go up to window, workspace, and we can have a look for the bounced file. I'm gonna click on the little magnifying glass there under the uh, red button, and type in the name of the file, which was bounce, and search. And you can see here, we have a file called bounce that was bounced today. So that's our successful bounce to disc. Okay, the next method is bouncing to tracks within the session. So I'm going to flick over to the mix window now using command equals. Um, I mentioned before that bounce to disc doesn't allow you to make any moves or adjustments whilst it's bouncing. So if you're in the middle of production and you're wanting to just do a quick bounce, um, then you might want to carry on mixing as it's bouncing. Uh, this method is really useful for that kind of thing. So what we do is create a new stereo track using shift command N to bring up the new tracks dialog and we'll create a new stereo track there. And I'm going to set the input to this track from a pair of buses, so bus one and two. I'm now going to select all the individual tracks of the session, so the guitar track there and then shift click on the kick drum. I've selected all the tracks and now using the modifier shift option, I'm going to click on the first output section of the first track there and choose bus one and two. So now all the tracks are routed to bus one and two and this new stereo track has got its input set to bus one and two. If I arm that track, I'm gonna go into record now and record the output of all these tracks onto the new one. Before I do that, I'm just gonna double click on its name and call it mix. And we'll just flick over to the edit window and have a look there We've got the same selection made, the nine seconds, so I'm now going to use command spacebar to initiate record and we'll see the new waveform appear on the new track as it bounces down. So I'm just going to uh, make that track a little bigger so we can see there. So that's now bounced down our nine second selection. So that's bouncing to tracks. So there we are, two different ways to bounce your mix.